what inspired me to write? My daddy inspired me to write. So I'm trying to do it for him all there, so when he get out, I can take him all around the world. Beat Times in Life is a program for youth who are interested in music or rapping. We wrote a lot of lyrics on topics that we all agree on, that we all feel about. East Oakland is where I be, you where I'm from, everybody my age always carry your gun. We gon' forever bang turfs and ain't never done. Most of the youngsters got hard and some of them run. We get active in the town just like how we come. The killer rate is getting high, it ain't no time for fun. Just take it back in the day when we had love. That's why the OGs live way longer than us. Everybody in the town wanna be a thug. At the end of side shows, if somebody pop. 5 approach, high speed chases flop. Everywhere in the town, you can get guy. That's why I stay on my toes and ain't no time I'm not. In the city of Stokeland, 99 in Holly, this is where I grew up. We live it how we live, we spit it how it is. We do it how we do it, then we trying to do it big. This is the city of Stokeland, trying to get rich. I love Oakland, because Oakland is where I'm from, born and raised. It's not as bad as people say it is, you know. If you're growing up in Oakland, you probably say that too. There's a lot of bad things in Oakland, but there's also a lot of good things in Oakland that people don't know about that the news probably don't talk about. When you hear about Oakland, you just hear it. Somebody got shot here, somebody got shot here. Somebody got shot on the 8200 block of something, something, so and so. Any one of those kids could be me right now. And it just, it, as a young person, especially because it's more of us dying out here, it's like, it's always a worry. You never know, like, what's gonna happen to you. I, even though I've seen a lot of painful things and like, say like Oakland, I've seen a lot of things in here, but I still love it. Like, I've seen a lot of bad things that just make me crumble down, but I, I still love it. It just sucks that, like, people just don't hear about the, you know, good things that happen in Oakland. You didn't hear about, you know, how many honor roll students we had or, you know, how many people graduated or stuff like that. You don't hear that. You just hear somebody got shot. I done seen a lot of things out here in Oakland, California. I done lost a lot of people. That's why I banged this for my loved ones. They trapped us in this maze, got us afraid and all confused, bro, on everything. I done seen a lot of things. That's why my eyes is bleeding. And I done been through hell and shit. That's why I always be leaning. Yeah, I bet that's probably why it always be seeming like I got an attitude. No, that's just me being that PG, FTP, RIP to all my peeps. Being young, seeing people around me being killed, it traumatizes us, it makes us depressed, and it, it makes our brains just really, like, distorted because you never know, like, what's gonna happen to you. Like, just seeing things and just hearing a lot of things, like, really affects you and, like, could just stay in your heart for a long time. I done seen a lot of things out here in Oakland, California. I done lost a lot of people, that's why I banished from my love. They done trapped us in this place, got us afraid and all confused. Yeah. That night, we were recording, seeing a lot of things. My best friend, he kept saying, I want to see my boyfriend. Like, she kept saying that. I was thinking in my head, like, man, be quiet, man. You was going to see him later or something. Like, I really was thinking that. He got shot at, like, 12 o'clock or, like, almost 1 o'clock in the morning. And he got shot on 54th and Martin Luther King. My best friend called me at like five o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I really, I didn't, couldn't believe it. Like I really didn't believe her. Like now I turned on the news and like I seen it. Like they didn't really have him on there. Like they, get, they didn't even say his name. Everybody has some type of struggle. My daddy is like the oldest. So he holds the family down. Everybody in the family basically looked up to him. It was a youngster that was lightweight, hot headed. He tried to like do something to my dad or whatever. So my dad had to do what he had to do. And he, he in prison. They gave him 11. At first it was 21, then they lowered down to 11. My Uncle Reg, he like a good person. Like that was just something that happened. Like he, like he ain't he somebody that family started. Man. Yeah, family man just went to work. He was getting off of work when it all happened. When he was out, he was helping us. 
Like he just tell us to keep doing it and yeah. just don't stop. Like cause don't we let got nobody it. stop us from. He even said, "Don't let me stop, stop you from doing what you're doing. You keep on doing what you're doing. Keep your head up. Just can't wait till you get out. Like sometimes if I be stressing, just missing my my daddy all that ride, just get a notebook and a pen and then just write. One day I was just going through it, and I had wrote a whole song and recorded it. He was called, yeah, keep your head up. I gotta keep my head up so I can stand on my feet. Yeah, so I can stand on my feet. I gotta keep my head up so I can stand on my feet. Yeah, so I can stand on my feet. Never look down, cause all they do is just make me weak. Yeah, it just make me weak. Never look down, cause all they do is just make me weak. Never look down, cause all they do is just make me weak. Writing raps, it helps me a lot with stress. Whenever I get mad or anything, like I just write and then like it really just helped me release everything like I could say anything I want on a piece of paper. Each towel had the definition of the word B. I-T-C-H, man, I pray till the day that that word is erased and replaced with beautiful queen, y'all that I mean, I'm still a teen and I got plenty of dreams. Me trying to life was also another way we were able to just talk and sit as a group. It's always better when you're talking to somebody else about your problems and what you're going through. Beats Rhymes in Life has brought me to where I can just get my mind away from everything. When I come here, I just forget about everything that has happened. It keeps me level. It keeps me wanting to come every day. I'm more than grateful for it because it helped me communicate with other people. And it kind of showed me a different side I didn't know I had. And beautiful, lovely, only God's above me. No one trying to judge me, no goons trying to mug me. Nobody got shot, no cops, no sweat, not even no stress. Call today a god day, because today was blessed. Fitted Mitchell and Ness, no bulletproof vest, nobody trying to trust. And I'm really loving the weather. Today's a good day, it could only get better. I had great days, but never mind the rest. Because if days get better, today will still be labeled my best. Lovely day is just about a day that's very beautiful, the weather is great, there's no problems, there's nobody getting shot, there's no police harassing people, there's no violence, no stealing, no anything, it's just everything. It's, it's pretty much a perfect day. It's, it's a day that everybody could love to live. I don't think a person can just be better just being happy all the time. Like they gotta go through some problems or they gotta have something hard on their life for them to become stronger and be better. In a way, like we all have something in common, a lot in common, and we're all brothers and sisters and we need to put our voices together and help each other out. At some time in your life, you'll have to sit down and you'll have to bring your abilities to the table to help other people get their abilities out. And once you reach it, nothing that you do can be stopped.